Hello everybody, my name is Bill Ford and I'm here in Paducah, Kentucky. I'm a big supporter of this wonderful National Quilt Museum. We're so proud to have it. And I was so surprised when I walked in the other uh, yesterday and I saw all of these wonderful names of people that this quilter has collected over the years. And I look, kept looking at it and I thought, I, have, I know a number of these people. It's just wonderful when I saw these names I knew. And uh, Woody Allen is one I knew. And I met him with uh, uh, Diane Keaton in New York at a play for Tennessee Williams. They sat behind me. I chatted with them. And it's funny, I was a friend of Tennessee Williams. And uh, uh, I went backstage afterwards to meet him for dinner. and. The, uh, Woody Allen and Diane Keaton were in front of me and uh, they said we're sorry but Mr. Williams is not seeing anyone tonight and I said well tell him Bill Ford is here from Columbus, Mississippi because I grew up in Columbus next door to his grandfather's Episcopal Church and uh, so anyway he said in the back he said anybody from Mississippi comes back here tonight so that was wonderful and uh, uh, I thought, gosh, I get in and Woody Allen and Diane Keaton are not getting back here and they're much better know, well known than I am. And then uh, uh, Carol Burnett I met when I was in New York one time and, and she was absolutely delightful, wonderful personality. Uh, she was in her first Broadway show called uh, Fade Out, Fade In and, uh, and I met her when I was in B. Altman in New York in the, old, in the antique book department and talked to her quite a while and she was absolutely delightful. And uh, Carol Channing I met when she came to Paducah and Carol knew that I knew Stephen Sondheim so we had a lot to talk about and uh, uh, so it was good getting to meet Carol Channing and talking to her. And then Betty Davis I met when I was very young uh, when I lived in Memphis and she was in a play in, in Memphis and uh, I was able to meet her and Gary Merrill who was her husband at that time. And then she came to Birmingham one time when I was there and we did a, a salute to uh, famous women in the country and she was one of them that was honored at that. And uh, another one was Nancy Reagan and Anita Luz and uh, Cicely Tyson. So I was able to meet all of those wonderful ladies. And, uh, and then I met Bob Hope when I was a child because he did his show uh, for the servicemen at the Air Force Base in Columbus, Mississippi. And the war had just ended and he had Doris Day and uh, met her. She had not made a movie yet. And Irene Ryan, who was on the Beverly Hillbillies. And uh, uh, Beverly Ryan, I mean, uh, Irene Ryan, she was, uh, she was a wonderful lady. She was so well dressed. And uh, uh, Doris Day was just cute as a button. Uh, had this wonderful little personality and covered in freckles. And then about a year later, she was in a movie, and I thought, oh, I met that wonderful person. She had a wonderful voice. Beverly Sills uh, was one of the ladies we honored in Paducah, along with uh, Anita Luz and uh, uh, Nancy Reagan. I was able to meet all of them. Nancy Reagan's the only first lady. Well, I've met Hillary Clinton, so they're the only two first ladies I've met. And uh, 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 Beverly Sills actually came into my shop in Birmingham and, and would buy needlepoint from me. She was a needle. Uh, she loved antique needlepoint. I had needlepoint from England that I sold, and, and they were kits, and so she loved them. And anytime she was there, she would uh, come in or she'd order them, you know, from my shop. And then Danny Thomas, I met him when I was a, a junior in high school in Memphis, and I was studying at a friend's home uh, that I go to every afternoon. And his mother came in and said, Bill, can you have dinner with us tonight and stay and have dinner? And I said, uh, I would love to. And she said, well, we have a celebrity coming. And she said, you and Tommy like famous people. And so it was Danny Thomas. And he was, that was the first meeting they were having on forming St. Jude Hospital in Memphis. And uh, years later, I was in New York coming out of, I had breakfast at the uh, Waldorf Astoria. And I was crossing the street. And at the light, I looked over and there was a man standing there. And I looked at him and I thought, I said, excuse me, are you Danny Thomas? And he said, what of it? And I said, well, Mr. Thomas, you wouldn't remember me. I was like 17 years old. And I said, uh, you were having a, a dinner with a lot of executives in Memphis to form St. Jude Hospital. And then he put his arm around me and talked to me for almost about 30 minutes. And I think about a year later, he died. So, uh, he, he, uh, uh, but he was a wonderful man and uh, I'm so fortunate I was there for that. And then Andy Warhol uh, was someone we had 
uh, uh, come to Birmingham about his work, and I was fortunate to meet him. And uh, he, he had a camera with him all the time. He recorded everything when you talked to him. And he was a very uh, kind of interesting person, but uh, I found him hard to talk to. But uh, I'm so glad I met him because I had a lot of uh, ins uh, inspiration from him and admiration for him so much, you know. And uh, so those are the ones that I know on this quilt. And I wish I knew a lot more of them, but I think it's wonderful that she got these autographs of all these people on here. I think it's fantastic. And uh, when I started looking at it yesterday, I thought, gosh, I can't believe I know some of these people on here. So thank you so much for having me here and talking about this. And uh, I'm not a great speaker, so excuse any little flaws I made. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, I enjoyed it and I love the National Quilt Museum. It's, it's one of the major things in our community here and everybody must come here and see because this is some of the finest art you're going to see in Paducah. This is art. Thank you.